Hi and welcome, I'm Hammy, and in this new video series I'll be walking you through fun extra facts and potential backstory behind the heroes in Overwatch that we discover through their in-game voice lines. Before any map starts and during the game on various triggers, Overwatch heroes chatter with and react to each other in some funny in-game voice interactions. These give us some great insights into hero character, interests and backstories, and even some things in the story that haven't been shown in the game yet. In this video we're looking at Genji's story, through his interactions with fellow heroes and the world around him. The ex-Overwatch agent has found peace with his new existence as a cyborg, although he still has issues to settle with his brother Hanzo, the circumstances around their parting, and their family's criminal past. Even though he's been through some great trials in his life, we can see that Genji still has time for a bit of humour and wisdom as well. From some of his voice lines, we can see that Zenyatta's benevolent wisdom and tutorship has rubbed off a bit on Genji. Revenge takes only the one who seeks it. And Genji's still got a sense of humour. Here's one line that he can come out with. My name is... Green Cyborg Ninja Dude. That was actually mentioned on Twitter by senior game designer and story guru Michael Chu from the Overwatch team when Genji was announced. A lot of communities saw Genji in the art and all of his phrases were quite commonly used in trying to describe him. Green Cyborg Ninja Dude, when he didn't have a name. Although this is kind of said as a joke, we're a little bit sad that Genji can't enjoy one of his favourite foods anymore, even though he seems to see some humour in it. Ramen! It's just not the same anymore. If you've read the bios of the Overwatch cast, then you know that Genji and Hanzo have a shared and troubled family history. Both sons of the Shimada clan, Hanzo took a path of duty where Genji showed little interest in the family criminal business. Following the untimely death of their father, tensions mounted between the two until a violent confrontation ended in Hanzo leaving Genji on the verge of death. The two have a number of interactions. We'll show some of the Genji-led ones here. We're led to believe, to start with, that the two haven't seen each other since that fateful day from this conversation. What's wrong, Hanzo? Don't you recognize me? You may call yourself my brother, but you are not the Genji I knew. Since leaving Genji for dead, Hanzo's remorse caused him to reject his duty of ruling the Shimada. Instead, he wandered the world in search of redemption and tried to find ways to reclaim his honor. Genji will actually comment on his brother's fall from grace when he sees him. So this is what has become of you. A pity. In spite of what they've both been through, Genji still wishes for his own brother to find a new path. Perhaps he's forgiven him for what he's done to him. It is not too late to change your course, brother. You are mistaken, brother. I am beyond redemption. We could have built an empire together. That was your dream, not mine. An element of brotherly rivalry still remains though. When Genji gets a kill on an enemy Hanzo, you can still hear this come out. I am victorious this time, brother. I learned that from my brother. Another character that Genji has a deep history with is the Omnic Monk Zenyatta. After working with Overwatch to dismantle his family's criminal empire, Genji couldn't come to terms with his new cyborg form and nature. He roamed the world to try and find meaning before coming across Zenyatta. He initially rejected his wisdom, but then Zenyatta eventually became his mentor, and his guru of sorts helped him to accept his dual existence as both being man and machine. The pupil-master relationship and deep bond between the two is evident in a lot of their lines, but here's a mention that Zenyatta throws to Genji. It is good to fight alongside one of my brightest pupils. When Genji kills Zenyatta on another team, he likes to take a little dig at Zenyatta in a apprentice has become the master kind of fashion too. I have the upper hand this time, master. Mercy is a pretty key character in Genji's story. Genji was left on the brink of death following the violent confrontation we mentioned between him and Hanzo. It was Dr. Angela Ziegler, or Mercy, who rescued him from death on behalf of Overwatch. Even though the two haven't worked together since those days, Mercy still has concern for her ex-patient's welfare, as shown by this line. You seem well, Genji. I am a different man now. I am whole. And, although Genji may have struggled with his cyborg form created by Overwatch to save his life, he's still seemingly grateful to Mercy for what she's done for him, shown here. You've rescued me again, Dr. Ziegler. In the rest of the Overwatch cast of Heroes and Villains, Genji has a few other interactions, and we picked a few for you here. Firstly, with Genji and Winston. From the Overwatch animated short Recall and his voice lines, we know that Winston is a big Overwatch geek and loves the idea of Overwatch reforming and working with his old team again. He's equally enthusiastic when talking to Genji about this. Genji, this is just like old times. Our paths cross for now. As to the future, we shall see. 
Genji's interaction with Zarya is also quite interesting. Zarya has very strong feelings against Omnix. They're a big part of her character, given her experience with currently battling them in Siberia, and also them being one of the reasons that she had to give up her weightlifting and professional sports career. She's not immediately ready to trust Genji, as we hear here. How do I trust a man who is half machine? The heart of a man still beats inside me. Of all the characters in the world of Overwatch, it feels like Genji has a huge grounding and an array of lines and interactions that trigger when he spawns into certain maps and levels. He has lines with several characters in many levels, and here's a selection of our favourites. The first place we'll start is home, for Genji anyway. Hanamura is the home of the Shimada clan, Genji and Hanzo's ancestral home. Genji enjoyed a life of luxury and privilege as a child. As the clan master's youngest son, he enjoyed a playboy and carefree lifestyle, in spite of excelling at his ninja training. We can discover a fraction of how he spent his time in this line when Genji spawns in the Hanamura attacking spawn, the arcade. I passed many an hour of my misspent youth here. And as part of the master and student relationship, it's also interesting to see Zenyata take interest in Genji's upbringing. So this is where you grew up. You must show me around. Another part of the Oververse that Genji has a deep connection with is Nepal. It seems from looking at the map that when he accepted Zenyatta's mentorship after his period of wandering, Genji came here to spend some time with the Shambhali, the Order of Monks led by Mondata. It feels as though amongst the Omnix in the snow-capped mountains, Genji managed to find some connection with the world again. He has several lines on Nepal that show his affinity, joy and affection to be part of the monastery and community. <sighs> Just setting foot here sets my soul at ease. Only here do I not feel outcast. This is my home now. As for the evidence that Genji was here, we'll save some for our Nepal map video, but we can see Genji's room here in Nepal on stage one, with a picture of the Shimadas, what perhaps was once his robe, and what could well be his sword. We found this loin on his sword that we think actually triggers when he goes into the room. This is my sword, Ryuichi Monji. Now, in trying to work out this sword name, apparently Ryu means dragon, and Ichimonji is something like figure one, a fighting stance, and it could also refer to the shape of a katana blade being similar to the Japanese way of writing the number one. Ichimonji is used in a bunch of sword names in English translations in some games already. Any ideas on that, please let us know. Thanks a bunch for the help on that one. As part man and part machine, Genji of course has a natural interest in the fate of Omnix out in the Overwatch world. King's Row is currently the scene of great tension between Omnix and humans, and Genji's certainly aware of this in this interaction with Zinyata. Does the suffering of the Omnix here trouble you, Master? It does. My brother Mandata gave much to improve their lives, but it was not to be. We know, of course, that Mandata paid the ultimate price with his life, as seen by the events of the Alive Short, where Widowmaker assassinates him in spite of Trace's best efforts. Memorials to Mondata and King's Row are visible there still. However, with escalating tension between the people there, whether his memory and teachings will help diffuse the crisis remain to be seen. Even though Genji's found some peace with his existence, he still feels out of place on occasion. In Numbani, a city where humans and Omnix are meant to be coexisting happily together for quite some time, he's still not quite at ease, as we can see from this line. Even here, I feel an outcast. Regardless of any struggles though, Genji has certainly found a new appreciation of beauty and life on his travels. He can now see beauty in places that he hasn't even seen before, as shown by this line when he revisits Watchpoint Gibraltar. It is beautiful here. I could never appreciate it before. Thanks very much for tuning in to my Hero Voice Line and Story series. If you like this video, please hit that like button below, subscribe and comment with what lines you enjoy most, and most importantly, what hero you'd like to see next. I really appreciate hearing what you all think. You can check out more videos from this series, our Easter eggs and map lore series, as well as regular Overwatch commentated gameplay on the channel too. Check out all the links below. Stay tuned to the channel as well for our quick gameplay tip series coming soon to help you guys who are new get started with a bang. Thanks so much for tuning in. I've been Hammy, and take it easy.